I'm the Alloy Geek. In this video, we're gonna test some jewelry with a Benchtop XRF. Now in this video, I'm gonna just use the Olympus Vanta GX. This is a Benchtop XRF technology that will identify any jewelry. It'll tell you what the alloy is and what the elemental composition is. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first, what we have to do is we have to load the jewelry into the analyzer. And I've got a few pieces here that I wanna look at today. Let's start with silver and end with some gold. So to start, we're gonna take this silver anklet. Now, this is a little suspect to me because of how the construction of the anklet itself. Um, and it's also pretty hard, pretty rigid. So we're gonna just load that right into the Vanta GX. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just the stem or the skinny part over the analyzer itself. And what that's gonna do is let us not test the beads that are kind of holding this together that have been kind of rough put on there. So what you'll see here on the analyzer as we're running is our copper, we're picking up copper, nickel, zinc, but only 4%-ish uh, silver. And so what that means is that this is just a uh, copper alloy, likely a brass that's been plated to look like silver. But then let's test those beads. So with a benchtop XRF like this, you're able to put the beads right in the center like that and actually get a better composition or a better idea of what those beads are. Now there is that little bracket on there, but um, most of what we're gonna be hitting is gonna be the beads, but you can see it's the same alloy with about 4% silver. So that 4% silver is just the silver plating and likely this, well, we know, that this alloy is, or this anklet here, is pretty much just copper. And in fact, in the light, it might be hard to see on camera, you can see the copper kind of shine through a little bit, okay? So that was the anklet. Let's take a look at something else now. How about this piece? This is an old piece, it's an old earring um, passed down through the family and uh, it looks silverish in appearance, but it's really light. The gemstones don't seem to be necessarily real. So we'll put that right on the, right in the Olympus Vanta GX and we're gonna test that as well. Now, right away, what you're gonna notice is, you know, 65, 35 split of copper and zinc with no precious metals detected. So this is just a brass um, earring and it's there's no really precious metals in this. This was made for looks and so it's not precious metals. So that's cool. We know that. Looks silver, it's not silver. Uh, and then we're gonna go further here and here's a little cross. So this is a little, uh, pendant that would hang from a necklace and we can center that right into the XRF here and we can start testing. Now what you'll notice right away is that we pick up 95% silver and about 5% copper. It's a very common alloy. The percentages are going to bounce a little bit around that but we know, well in this case they're exactly 95.5. That's that's uh, more luck than anything else, but you can see that um, we were able to identify that really quickly and we were able to find the precious metals really easily. This is a shield earring. So this is actually from Finland. Uh, my wife likes Finnish jewelry and she actually lost the other one of these. She loves these earrings, but um, this is, it appears to be silver, but sometimes when you buy jewelry from foreign countries, you don't know what the quality is based on that jeweler or that vendor, what they're selling, and they may not even know what they're selling. But in this case, again, we're at well left with that 95.5 silver and copper alloy. So easy to test. This is a nice little earring that is a nice silver uh, alloy. And then um, we have another one here. This is a ring. It's a lizard ring, but let's test this little lizard here right on the nose on the top here. Put it right in the middle of the detector and we'll hit go. And Again, with silver, we're able to say, okay, this is silver. You know, it's not brass, it's not plated, it's not plated copper. This is a silver ring. And sometimes with these silver rings, what I see is that they're actually welded and the band may not be silver. I believe this one is, but we can actually test that by putting the band right in the middle of the Vanta GX. And let me show you what that image looks like here. So before we tested, that's the part of the lizard there, and you can see that we hit right in the middle of it. That looks really good, but now we're gonna test just the band. So if we watch here, you'll see 95.5 on the band. I'm just doing a five second test, by the way. So the actual Vanta GX is only running for five seconds to get this data, which is really lightning fast. And what you'll see here is we have the same alloy on the band. If we look at the image, you'll see I was able to, to shoot right on the band. Now. All the air gap you see around the band there doesn't matter so much for an analyzer like this. The Benchtop XRFs, what they do is the sample chamber here, all this extra room dissipates the X-rays from coming back in 
versus if you were to test this with a handheld directly on a table surface and you were able to get some of the table x-rays and interference coming back. So it actually gives you a really clean result. I recommend if you're doing jewelry or small pieces like this, like weld wire or jewelry, that you would use a benchtop XRF. So lastly, uh, for this for the silver series here, I've got this, which we believe to be silver. This is an old necklace that um, looks almost like a bronze color now. It's got these uh, amber color gemstones in it. I'm not a gem expert here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna place that in here and we're gonna just place one of the, one of the little loops of the necklace um, over the detector and hit go. And what you're gonna see real quick here is we have copper and zinc again. So we've got another copper alloy that's been plated with zinc. You can see we're picking up a little bit of zinc there. Now, something that's older like this, this actually probably used to be plated with silver and it, it'll be real hard to see in the camera. I'll do my best to show you. But um, the back side of this, you can see some areas that still have like a tarnished silver to them, uh, but other areas are just, the silver is totally worn away. So a plated uh, necklace like this, that may wear away over time, the, the plating that is. So now let's move into some gold jewelry. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is this, this which looks to be gold. This is a ginkgo leaf. And um, it's the, the thing that sets me off here is it, it not only does it look like brass, but when I try to bend it, it's really hard. So gold would typically deform a little bit because it's pretty soft. If I close this, set that ginkgo leaf in there, and then shoot, right away we're able, able to see that it's copper and zinc, which is kind of what I thought. That's a brass alloy. Um, you know, and there's nothing wrong with it being brass. Uh, brass is a great decorative item, but it's not gold and it's not worth its weight in gold. So um, although my wife might love these earrings, they are just brass. Now this is an old earring here that looks, appears to be gold, but doesn't feel like gold. It feels really cheap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just this center, um, just this piece here that would go into the clasp for the earring and center that right on the Vantage GX, And I'm gonna hit uh, the test button. Now what I wanna look for here too is cadmium. This is a toxic metal that you would see in some of the older jewelry and you can see that I'm picking up that CD on the, on the results. That's cadmium. That is something you don't want in your jewelry and we don't probably want to hurt my wife wearing these. You can see I almost missed the sample there placing in the middle because it was relatively small, um, but we're still able to get a good reading even on something like that. So really cool to see. Um, and then, you know, if you go back to the, the analysis window here, look for precious metals. Almost no silver, no gold, red, just copper, cadmium. So that's uh, probably not so good. Next, I've got a nice little bracelet here. Uh, really vibrant looking gold color with some different hues to it. But when I flip it over, I see that it's hollow on the back side. The rhinestones or the, the gems on the top don't appear to be very large. That's a pretty big signal that this necklace is probably not uh, pure gold and is likely plated. So we're gonna test the back of these little, um, ba the band of this jewelry here. So I'm gonna start by just aligning that right here over the window. And when I hit the go button, what we'll see here is that really quickly that wow, hey, we've got a plating alert. So our carrot is less than 7.5. The analyzer believes that um, there is a gold plating here. We pick up 2.76% gold, but really not much. We're picking up nickel and copper. Um, so we know that this piece of jewelry is just gold plated. So that's it there. And lastly, now this is actually my class ring from Iowa State University. Now I purchased this on graduation as an 18 karat. It's got 18 karats stamped on it. So let's start by testing the band of this ring. So I put that in the Vanta GX and what you'll see when I hit go is that, there you go. There's the carat, 18 karat gold. We picked up gold at about 75%, which is 18 karat. And you'll see there's some other alloying elements in there. That's typical for a uh, 18 karat gold to have other alloying elements in it. And, but what I wanna show you that's actually kind of cool about this is the signet or the face of this ring is actually pretty heavy compared to the band. But when I put the signet right in the center there and I test the app, what you're gonna find is that we shoot this at 19 karat gold. 
Now, what I don't know is I'm actually not familiar with why we would have more gold in the signet. So if you know why there would be more gold in the face or the heavier part of the signet ring, maybe it's cast downwards and gravity and density just feed more gold into it, I don't know. But if you know, post down in the comments section below, would love to hear that. Um, but you'll see here 19 karat gold there. So this is actually an 18 karat gold piece overall, um, but we're picking up a little bit more gold on the face of the signet ring. So in this video, you're able to see a benchtop XRF like this one. This is the Olympus Vanta GX by Olympus, who is now evidence scientific. This analyzer does a great job with anything precious metals, including gold, silver, I mean, it will do platinum and rhodium and other alloys like that as well. Um, but we also saw the non-precious metals, things like copper or brass, things like that. So really easy to test that. And the test times can be as fast as five seconds. I love that it has plating detection because something like this little bracelet here um, could give you a lot of trouble if you thought that was pure gold or if you bought or sold that and you didn't know the difference. And then other alloys here like uh, silver plated, copper, very common to see but not, not all of it's silver plated copper. You wanna know that you know the, the pieces of jewelry you have are pure or um, maybe some other alloy. So this will do a great job in classifying that. Now, if you have an XRF already, either a benchtop one or a handheld one, and you're looking for certified reference materials to kind of dial in your XRF and make it shoot spot on with the gold and silver that you test, you can find those on alloygeek.com. Thanks for watching today, and we'll see you guys next time.